Okay, so first of all, I'm going to select all of these columns here, and then I'm going to make them all thinner. And I will make a note of the number of pixels. So this is 130 pixels. Then I will select all of these rows for the whole of the table. And I will increase the row height here to also be 130 pixels. And now all of these cells are actual squares. Now we'll create the first chart. So I'll select this data here and go to insert and insert an area chart. Now it makes the years their own series. So I will delete this and then right click and select data. And I will edit the horizontal axes to be the years at the top. And OK and OK again. Now I want the chart to go all the way up to 100%. So I will double click on the axes and then change the maximum here to be 1. And now that I have done that, I can actually delete this axis. And I'll also delete the one at the bottom and the grid lines and also the legend. Then I'll change the color of this and I will make it blue. Then I'll select the plot area and I will change this to red. Then we'll take the plot area and we will drag it outwards so that there is no gap at the edge. And I will do that on the sides as well. Then I will make sure I have the chart area selected and I will give this a border and I will make it black and I will decrease the width slightly. Then I am going to go to Format and Align and then Snap to Grid. And the Snap to Grid feature will force the chart to line up with the cells underneath. So if I move this around now, it will line up with the edges of the grid lines. So I am going to make this chart smaller and I'm going to make it so it fits in one cell. Then we will format the title. So I will change this to be white and bold and make it smaller. And then we will put it in the corner. Then I will move this chart into this cell here. Then while I have the chart selected, I will press Control D, which is the keyboard shortcut for duplicate and it will make another chart which I will then put underneath. And then make sure that the chart is lined up with the grid correctly. Snap to Grid is supposed to do this, but sometimes it does weird things. So sometimes I will click on the table and then just move my mouse around to try and force it to jump to the right place. Or I will click and drag each of the edges back and forth to make sure each of the edges is lined up in the right spot. Now, so long as you keep the chart selected the whole time, you can then press Control D again, and it will remember the amount that you moved the chart by previously, and then move it again by the same amount. So in this way, I can make a bunch of charts that are all lined up with the cells in this column. Now we need to click on each of these charts and then click and drag the colored boxes down one so that it is then looking at the correct data. And it is important that you select the chart area rather than the series itself because if you select the series itself then only the blue box will move, not the red box as well. If you click on the chart area, so like on the very outer edge of the chart, then you will be able to move them both at the same time. You can also select the series and then change the cell references in the formula bar. So here I would need to change this two to six and also change this to six and this to six and then enter. And that will also do the same thing. I will just click and drag for this chart. 
And now, of course, you will have noticed that it changes the color of the series back to the default color, but we can fix this. So I will open up the formatting bar again and change the fill back to blue. And then I'll select the next chart and press F4 on the keyboard. And F4 is the keyboard shortcut to repeat whatever you just did. So in this way, we can change the color of all of the charts. Now I am going to do this for the rest of the charts and I'm going to fast forward through this part. Now that we have all of the charts created, I'm now going to select each chart individually and click and drag it so it lines up with the state abbreviation laid out in this grid here. And make sure that each of the charts lines up with the grid lines underneath correctly, because again, the snap to grid feature doesn't always work. Also, you need to make sure that you have selected the chart area because if you select the plot area and then you try and move the chart, you aren't going to be able to move it. You need to select the chart area, which can be a little bit tricky because we have made our plot area and chart area the exact same size. And then once you have got the first charts lined up, you can select all of this and then click and drag it down and then do the next lot. So I'm going to fast forward through this part as well. And now that we have all of the charts lined up correctly, I am going to select the chart and then go to format and align and switch off snap to grid. Then you'll see that we still have all of the labels underneath. So I'm just going to select all of this and then delete them. And I am going to change the formatting on the Alaska plot in order to make this into a sort of legend. Okay, and now I'm going to go to view and remove the grid lines. So in this video, I have shown you how to make a tile grid map in Excel, and that is everything.